Today, I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of the Chromecast with Google TV. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as a Chromecast with Google TV expert. Let's get started. So you can see on the front of the box, we have a picture of the device itself in the remote, and then all of the various different streaming services that it uses. And of course, this enables 4K resolution, which is one of the highest qualities of video that you can possibly get. On the side, it talks more about Google TV and how this is an incredible entertainment system. And then on the back, it's a simple photo of the device itself. And then on the other side, with the Hey Google Assistant, you'll be able to activate your voice and use it to search for television shows and more. So you can see there's a plastic wrapping around the box. Let's go ahead and rip this plastic off and dive right in and see what the insides looks like. So we'll go ahead and peel it off just like this and it comes right off. And then we have the box itself. So we can take a look at the box and see how it opens up. It looks like it slides open just like this. And then inside here, we've got two different boxes. We've got one that has the Chromecast itself and then the remote on the right side. So there's a pull tab. We can go ahead and pull this right up. And then inside of this first box, we've got the actual Chromecast. We can go ahead and pull that out and it comes out just like this. There's, let's see, nothing else in the box. So we can go ahead and put that to the side. And then it has a nice little cloth right here. We can go ahead and undo the cloth and pull out the Chromecast. And here it is right here. It's a nice little slim component and it has an HDMI connection right here. You plug this up into the back of your TV or monitor and you're able to get your Google TV with Chromecast set up perfectly. You can see on the back, it's got some text. It's got the HDMI logo, a little light indicator that lets you know when it's on and then a button if you need to reset it or do any uh, kind of, you know, maintenance on it. So we'll plug this into the back of our TV in a moment, but this is what the Chromecast looks like itself. Let's now dive into the remote. We'll put the Chromecast to the right and then on the right side of the box, you've got the remote. You can see there's a photo here that shows the remote and then we'll go ahead and open the top. Oh, we'll take the top of the box and we'll open it right up and then um, we'll have the remote. So it's very thin remote here. You can see we'll pull it out, shake it a little bit. It's nice snug in there and then we'll pull it out and it comes out just like this. It's protected with this cloth. We'll undo the cloth and take the remote out just like this. And here we have it. So we've got this and this nice light blue color um, and We'll dive into the remote and all the various different details that it has right now. So you can see on the side, you've got the volume up and the volume down buttons. You've got this wheel here where you can go up, down, up, down, left, right, and then a center button where you can click in. You've got the back button. You've got the Google Assistant button. You've got the home button, the mute switch, the YouTube button, the Netflix button, the power button, and that also on the back we've got a section for batteries. So we'll need to connect our batteries there just a moment. So you've got all these various different buttons right here on the remote. We'll set that to the side. Inside here it says, let's get started, Google. So we'll pull this out and we can undo the packaging here. And it looks like we've got kind of like a quick start guide to let us um, get started with all the various details on our Chromecast. So we plug it in, we switch the TV input, we put batteries in the remote. Good news, batteries are in the box, so you don't have to get those separately. And then you can set this up on the Google Home application, which we will demo right here in this video. You can see all the various different buttons here. You can see that last section here, this last button right here is the TV input button that allows you to adjust the TV button, but all the controls are right here. Navigation, select, bat, home, app button, TV, power, microphone. There's a microphone right here for the Google Assistant. You just speak right into that and you're able to communicate whatever you need. And then, of course, it can ask, you know, what can you do? Or um, it'll ask, how can I help? And you just respond with whatever request you need for your Chromecast and your television. And it will um, be, you know, glad to help you out with all of the requests. So we can see inside the box, we have some more components here. We've got the power strip. We've got a USB-A to USB-C component right here. Um, and then we've got the power. We'll go ahead and see if we can undo this. It's nicely 
stuck here in the box. It looks like I'll just go ahead and rip it out just like that. And then it has this component inside. We'll go ahead and take that out. So we've got this power cable. This is the power brick on the right and the power cable on the left. And in order to plug up your Chromecast, you will plug in the USB-A part right here into the power brick and you'll plug this into the wall. And then on the other end, you've got this USB-C component here. If you take a look at the Chromecast itself, you have a USB-C component on the very end. It slides in just like that. And you plug that into the Chromecast, you plug this into the wall, and the wall will give your Chromecast power and you'll be able to boot it up for the very first time. So that's an overview of how you set up your Chromecast. We're gonna go ahead and plug this up into the wall. I'm gonna show you what an HDMI port looks like, and then I'll be able to plug this into one and we'll be able to get power and go through the setup process for the very first time of what this looks like to connect and boot up. So let's go ahead and do that. Check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, where you can get a $30 bonus today when you sign up using the link in the description, appfind.org slash Rakuten. You can shop at your favorite stores with over 3,500 stores to check out, and you install the plugin, create an account on Rakuten, and earn cash back today. It's really cool that you can come here and get paid to shop, and of course you can earn your $30 bonus today using the link in the description. This helps out the AppFind channel a lot, so check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, using the link appfind.org slash Rakuten. Okay, now we're ready to plug in our Chromecast. So before you do that, you'll want to put batteries in the remote, so I'm going to undo the remote connector there and place in the batteries that came in the box into the remote. That way when we boot up our Chromecast for the very first time, we'll be good to go. You'll see an LED light pop on as soon as you put in the batteries. That means it's probably looking for the Chromecast. So let's go ahead and plug this Chromecast into power and then we'll go ahead and plug this into our HDMI port. So one thing that you'll need to do when you plug in your Chromecast, you'll see the light comes on when you connect it to power, and then you'll need to find the HDMI port on your TV or monitor. And then also, when you plug up your HDMI port, you may need to remember which port you plug it up to because there's a source button or an input button on your remote, and you'll need to turn your television to that source connection. So if you plug it in HDMI 1, then you'll need to remember when you hit the input or source button to connect it to the HDMI 1 port. You could plug it into HDMI port 2 or 3. Just remember which port you plug it into on the very back of your television. That way, when you hit the source button or the input button, you know exactly which television port to plug up to. You can see here I have an HDMI switch. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Chromecast into this switch, and this is port number 1. So I'll go ahead and plug it in just like this, and I'll go ahead and we'll see the welcome screen right here. You can see on my switch connectors here for the HDMI ports, I have the option to turn it to HDMI port one. It's already on number one, so we're good to go. I'm gonna bring the camera up and you'll be able to see the welcome screen as the Chromecast has been set up right here for the very first time. You can see it says welcome, and now you can use a remote. Since you've used batteries, you've put in the batteries, you can use the remote to go down just like this and go up just like that. So it makes it really easy. Go up, go down. You can select whichever language you want. And we'll go ahead and select English. And then we press the center button right here on the remote to select. So I'm gonna make sure it's in focus and then we'll hit the center button to select English just like that. So now it says set up the Google Home app and it has a setup code here. You download the app in the app store on your phone and then when instructed, scan the QR code. So we can go to the app store. I'll show you what it looks like on the app store page when you set up the installation process for the Google Home app. All you have to do is just search for the Google Home Home app and then it will pop up inside of your search results right here in the App Store. So here's the App Store. I search for Google Home and it looks just like this. This is the Google Home application. You'll need to set up the Google Home application in order to um, you know, proceed. You can set up on the TV, but it says it may take longer and it requires typing with the remote, which can be very painful because it doesn't have a full size query keyboard. You have to use the the remote right here to do left to right, left down um, to type. So it's much easier if you use your iPhone or your Android phone 
phone to set up your Google Home um, account with this Chromecast, you do have the option. All you have to do is just press the down connection right here, the down button, and you can set up on the TV. But we're going to demo the process to setting it up using the Google Home app because that's the easiest way to do it. So this app is already installed on my phone. If it's not installed on yours, you just press the get button, you sign in with your password, and you download the app, and you can go ahead and open it up just like this. So this is what it looks like. And here I'm inside of my home and it's automatically detected set up a new Chromecast. If this is your device, we can set up now or do it later. So I don't know how it automatically magically detected that there's a Chromecast next to us, but it did. And I'm assuming it's going to be able to do that for you and it will pop up just like this. So you can see there is a setup button in the lower right side component right here of this application. We'll press the setup button and asks which home it's going to be set up in. You'll select that home and your address and then you'll proceed. Next up is location access. It'll detect nearby Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signals to determine your location. We we'll just hit the next button, the location access, your address and stuff will pop up and you'll hit next to proceed. So it'll now look for devices. And just like this, it'll, we'll search for the Chromecast. Um, it's looking for devices and it's using the location access, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, all the different signals to find the nearest Chromecast next to us. And of course, it's found it. Chromecast found. Would you like to set up Chromecast? And then it has the Chromecast name. So then we'll go ahead and hit the next button in the lower right here where it says next because it found the Chromecast that is plugged in right over there. So we'll hit the next button and now it wants us to scan the QR code and it did that automatically. Well, it did it very fast. It saw the QR code, it scanned it and it's connecting. Um, I didn't even have to angle it to the right area. It automatically found the Chromecast and now it's connecting. So now it says follow the instructions on the Google Home app. So I'll be able to sign in here. We'll be able to accept the terms of service and then agree to the legal terms. And now it asks, where's this device at? We're going to say it's in the office because that's where it's at right now. But it shows all the homes and rooms that you have set up in your Google Home application. And now it wants us to connect it to Wi-Fi. We'll connect it through Wi-Fi. We've got it already signed up right here. It wants us to enter the password for the Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to do that off camera. We'll enter our Wi-Fi password. And then once it has successfully processed, so I'll bring this back into frame. You can see it's connecting to Wi-Fi just like that. It's connecting to Visionary. It's processing this both on the phone and also the Chromecast itself. You can see both of them are in motion and actively connecting to the wireless network. And uh, this may take a minute as it processes all of it. And now we're connected, following instructions in the app, and we are good to go. So next up, sign in with your Google account. Your Google account will be signed into your Chromecast to enable a personalized television experience. We'll go ahead and hit the continue button, and this will sign in to the Chromecast with your Google account. So you'll need to allow, we'll authorize Face ID for it to enter the password and to wirelessly transmit our Google information to the Chromecast itself. We're successfully signed in and now it's downloading a system update. The TV will restart and install a software update. And when it restarts, we'll continue the setup here. So you can see there's a loading bar right here. It's a progress bar. Chromecast will restart soon. You can see exactly where it is in the process of downloading the system update. And of course, when this bar reaches the very end of it, you'll be able to move forward restart the Chromecast and be on the latest software which is always great for security measures and also to have the latest features and then we'll be able to continue that process right here in the application so we'll go ahead and hit the continue button and then um, we can see that we can set up Google services like use Chromecast location help improve Chromecast, all the various different location device maintenance and personalization and assistance settings that are currently set up right here on our Google Home app. We'll go ahead and hit more. We'll accept those and then you can press the button to accept and continue and we'll see what else is next on this Chromecast setup process. So we've got Google Assistant. Find shows, movies, music and more. You can just say show me family movies. And then the Google Assistant will magically pop up family movies. You can say play next episode and the Google Assistant will play the next episode. You can say play relaxing music. So here are a few examples that you can use when using the Google Assistant on the Chromecast. 
You can ask it, what's the weather tomorrow? We'll demo some of these features when we get this Chromecast set up successfully. For now, we're gonna hit the continue button in the lower right, and we'll see what else is next for us in the um, you know setup process here. So we'll hit continue. And it looks like it's continuing to process here. And now we can see that we can search across all of our television applications. To do this, you have to enable it and allow your requests to happen here. So we'll go ahead and hit the allow button. If you don't want this, you can hit the no thanks button. But for now, I'll hit allow. It'll be a really cool feature to search across all of the applications. So I've already set up recognition and personalization for this device, so it knows exactly what my voice is and when I um, speak to it. Voice match is a feature you can turn on and then the Google Assistant will know who is speaking and use your account information to bring relevant results based off your voice. Personal, personal results are on, so that's really neat and a really cool feature that I highly recommend turning on. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. These are already set up in my home. I can choose some of my subscription services like YouTube, YouTube Music, Spotify, Disney, Prime Video, YouTube TV, Apple TV, all the various different apps. They've got dozens, over a dozen of applications right here that are already ready for the Google TV. I've selected a few that I like. We'll go ahead and hit the next button in the lower right and it will set those applications up for me. I can go ahead and set up Google Photos or Art Gallery. I can just tap Google Photos if I want that to show up on my Chromecast or I can select a curated art gallery here on the lower section right here. It looks like it's processing the Google Photos. So it's thinking and before it loads, we'll be able to hit our next option and uh, go ahead and set up whichever ambient mode that we want. So if we wanna switch it, we can go to art gallery just like that. And it, it does take a while. You can see it's restarting in the very back as it loads here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Google Photos. And then we'll, after that loads, we've got the Google logo. We've got the next button right here. And then we'll be able to have a personalized photo library right here. Um, we can say recent highlights, and then it will use my Google Photos to show the recent highlights on the Chromecast. I can stand the no for Google hardware products. I'm gonna say no thanks for this. And then you can see in the background, the Chromecast is installing the latest system update here as it allows us to be secure and on the latest software. We're almost done. So here's a review of what we set up. The devices are set up as Office TV and the ambient mode is set up to Google Photos. So we'll go ahead and hit next. And now setup here is finished, com complete the setup on the TV with the remote. So we have successfully set up everything on the iPhone using the Google Home application. We'll go ahead and hit the done button right here at the very bottom. And then it will take us back to our home application. So we're on the home app on the phone. And now we are good to go. We're waiting for this update to finish. It's installing the system update. And after this reboot, we'll be able to complete the setup of the Chromecast itself. So this is really cool that we used the Google Home application to get us up to speed and made it really easy for us to log on to the Google Home app, scan the QR code, and then use all of the quick setup features like sharing our Wi-Fi password, sharing our Google account information. If you do not use the application, you have to manually type with the t television keyboard, um, which makes it painfully hard because you've got to type character by character, one by one, and you don't have a full size, you know, real 52 keyboard that you can manually type. So it makes it a lot longer when you use the television version. You can see the Chrome the Chromecast is currently restarting. We've got the Google logo, and then we'll be able to complete this setup as soon as it loads successfully. Google TV, we've got a beautiful animation of the Google colors going all around the television. It's beautiful, I love it. Um, and we can see it booting up here after this security update for the very first time. So really excited to check out the Chromecast with Google TV built right into it. And you'll be able to use all the cool features like Google Assistant and being able to use the voice match, and um, you know, it's really cool that you can um, activate all the various different applications, all the different streaming services that we saw, the Disney Plus, the Apple TV, the YouTube TV, Spotify, YouTube Music, all, all the 
various different cool applications. Right here, we can set up on the Google TV Chromecast. It's reestablishing our network connection, and then we should be good to go with the first boot. We're connected, that's a great sign, and now we're able to move forward with this installation process and setting up our Chromecast for the very first time. We've got a loading screen, and of course, as this loads, it'll be the very first time that we set up the Chromecast and a really cool opportunity to check it out and be able to use the Google services baked into our, into our television. So it's really handy and really neat. I love it personally for YouTube TV, which is a paid subscription service for internet cable. You no longer have to, um, you, you can stream it almost anywhere. And then I can't necessarily play any live television due to copyright issues, but I will demo some of the cool features that you can use the Google Assistant baked into the YouTube TV. You can just say, play Disney Channel, and then it will play it. You can say, play ESPN, and it will just play it because YouTube TV is owned, of course, clearly by Google, and they natively integrated it right into the Chromecast. So it says, please wait. And as we continue, we'll be able to load up this process. It's setting up our TV and then we've got some more loading. So lots of loading, but I promise you it's worth the wait because as soon as this is set up, you've got a full-fledged Chromecast with several applications ready for us to use. And I can't wait to demo them all for you. So now we've got a loading bar. It says setting up your TV and uh, it's at a 0% as it loads. You can set up power and volume control controls for your um, your remote here. So this remote has the power to turn on the television and use the volume controls. I'm going to opt out for not now because this is a monitor and not a television. But if you do have a television, you will be able to use the volume controls right here on the side, volume down, volume up. You'll be able to use those to go down and up and then you'll be able to use this power button right here on the very bottom left to turn on that TV. So we're just going to swipe over to not now because this is a monitor. It's always on. We'll be good to go as soon as we press the activation button. So get personalized recommendations from across your streaming services. We can see that it's offering some t some tips for us as it sets up the TV. And um, we can see at the very bottom, it's setting up your TV, we're about 5% done. We can see what else we can do. We can press and hold the Google Assistant button to search for movies, shows, genres, and more. We can search Google, add favorites to your Google TV watch list, and that's really cool. You can keep up to date with all the different shows and movies that you wanna watch. And then next up, you can create kids profiles that are all their own. This is perfect if you don't want your kids shows screwing up with your recommendations. If you watch you know, a lot of kids shows on your account, then it's gonna recommend more kids shows. And of course you wanna watch more of the other um, you know, movies that are to your preference. So you can have a kids profile, make sure all the kids content is stuck in their account. And you can even set things like screen time limits and bedtime. Next up, we can cast videos and music and more from your phone, tablet, or laptop right to the television. Um, it's really neat. The Chromecast button is pretty universal. You can see what it looks like right here in the top right. All you have to do is just tap that little Chromecast button, um, the casting button, which is in baked right into Google Chrome and almost every app on your phone, and you can cast it immediately to the television just like that. You can ask Google to show you your live camera view or control your home devices so it knows that we're in the office. I can ask Google to turn off the lights in the office and it will know that we're in the office and just turn them off for us. Um, we can ask it to check in on the security cameras in the house. So really handy that this is baked into the Google ecosystem and really smart in your home. You can get personalized results across your streaming service. And now we're at the very top of this loop. And we can see that we are setting up our TV. We're at 33%. And we've gone through all the various different options here for what it wants us to recommend and do when we get this Chromecast set up for the very first time. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, let this set up, and let it you know get all the way to 100%. And then once it's back at 100, I'm going to go ahead and re resume the video. And we'll go ahead and demo some features live for this Chromecast and get it set up successfully. So we'll be right back. 
Today's video is sponsored by Bot Builders. If you've seen AI and wondered how you can make money using AI, then this free Bot Builders webinar is something you should definitely sign up for. You'll learn how you can generate a passive income by building AI bots for businesses, even if you have no tech experience. Sign up for the free AI masterclass today using the link in the description or going to appfine.org slash botbuilders. It's a free AI masterclass hosted by one of the top mini chat bot experts, Matt Leitz, where he will walk you through how you can earn an income by building AI bots for businesses and take advantage of the AI revolution. You can sign up for the free AI masterclass at appfine.org slash botbuilders or using the link in the description. And we're officially in business. Your Chromecast is ready. So it's got Google TV built right in and a single button right here that says start exploring and this beautiful animation that shows the power of Google TV embedded with all of its ecosystem and devices around it. You've got the remote, you've got your person, you've got your home, you've got all those cool devices that are baked right into this Google Chromecast. So we're gonna take the remote and we're gonna press the center button right here. I'll zoom in so you can see there's a center button. We'll press that once and it will enable this start button or start exploring button to continue. So we'll press that one time and we're presented with our home page. It's for you. We've got all of these cool devices right here and the best part about it is it's synced with my YouTube account, it's synced with my Google account, it's synced with YouTube TV, so it has top picks for me. It knows that I love Marquez, and here I can scroll down on the Google TV by using this little pad here, and go up, I can go down, I can go to the right. So you can use this pad to move around on your Chromecast, and I'm gonna lift this up some more so you can see the, the little components at the very top. So you can see at the very top, you have an option for these tabs, the For You tab. Next over is the Live tab, which shows you all of your live television, and then the Apps tab, and then the Library tab. So this is synced with my Google TV, and or my YouTube TV account. It's synced with my Google YouTube account. It's synced with everything Google, so it knows exactly what I like. And I can use this pad here to go up, down, to the right, to the left, and I can select whatever content that I want to see. So we are on the For You tab. It's got this beautiful slideshow here with Google TV, with Hallmark movies and more. I can just press watch free live television and do that. I can go over to the right. You can see there's a little button right here or a little carousel view with a dot. It lets you know which slideshow number you're on. we can see we're on option number two and I can use the remote. It automatically continues and slides throughout the slides, but I can use the remote right here to navigate those slides to the right and to the left just like this so we can see all of the for you tabs we can see that there's a brand new season of what if on disney plus and then we can scroll down and we've got top picks for you this is incredible that google's ecosystem already knows that i love watching marquez's videos and it's promoted it right here on my google tv with chromecast baked right into the software and all i have to do is just hit the the center button right here once and then it loads up YouTube and allows me to watch incredible content right here that's already personalized for me. And of Still course, it plays an ad and we're gonna go right back to the home screen right here on the little button. I just press the home button once and it goes right back to the home screen. Of course, you can get YouTube premium to get rid of advertisements, but of course, um, you've got various different options. We can see that there's a live basketball game going on. I can just press this right button over and it will slide over to the right. We can see the Miami Heat are at the Los Angeles Lakers with YouTube TV. I pay a subscription every single month for YouTube TV and it gives me live sports, live cable, streaming, anywhere on my phone, computer, or Chromecast here or Apple TV, wherever you're at. So I'm not gonna play this because of course it's copyrighted and I can't stream that publicly, but it is really neat that I can watch live television right here on the Chromecast itself. I can continue to slide over, see what other t tips and other um, various different things we have. We can see at the top it says, try say playing. So you, I can just say play salt burn to the Google Assistant and it will start playing. So to activate the Google Assistant, all you have to do is just press it right here. It's at this top right, I'll zoom in so you can see it. The top right button, this button right here, you just press and hold that and the Google Assistant pops up and you can see that it's activating it and um, it's listening to everything that I'm saying right now. And then you let go when you're done and it will process that request and 
since I didn't say anything real, it didn't really bring up any great real results, but I can just press it down and uh, I'll demo it with the weather. So what's the weather for tomorrow? Tomorrow in Oakland, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 58 and a low of 43. So the Google Assistant is right here on the remote. You just press and hold it down and you ask it anything. The microphone is right here, this little dot in the middle. What is the best TV show to watch for the holidays? And now it shows some shows that are holiday TV shows. So you can ask that you can ask the Google Assistant almost anything and it will be very helpful and it will pop up and allow you to go through results right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit the home button and we'll go right back to the home screen just like this and we're on the top picks for you. So we can scroll down, we can see all of our apps like Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, Disney Plus. You can log in with those authentication methods if you have subscriptions to them and watch them right here on your Google TV. It knows that I'm a big fan of Big Brother and the Reindeer Games where I was previous, previously watching that on YouTube TV. So I can continue watching that right here on the Chromecast itself. They've got a... Um, Proactive personal results are now on. So they got free live news and opinion options right here. I can watch the news. I can scroll and select whichever news show that I want to watch and watch that. We've got top selling movies, popular movies and, and shows, recommended videos on YouTube, and 81st annual global awards, the nominees. I can catch up on that. And then it asks, what do you like watching? We can select movies, shows, family, and more. And then they've got various different podcasts. So I can create a space just for me and have different spaces for all the kids and all my other family members in the house. We can see on now for live television, free live television, trending on Google, crime TV shows. There are over a dozen different options right here on the For You page that you can check out on your Chromecast and watch almost anything to get started. But one of my favorite features when you have a subscription to YouTube TV is right here, the live section. And it looks like you even have have over 800 free channels in one guide. If you do not have a YouTube TV subscription, you can switch over to the live TV section and a new channel guide offers even more live news, movies, shows, and more. No sign up or subscription is required. But the fact is I have a YouTube TV subscription and it automatically pops up right here on the, the live section of this Chromecast. And it's a guide and I can go through and watch live television right here, see what's playing right now this second and scroll right through it. And I think this is one of the best features of the Chromecast. If you use YouTube TV to watch television, you must absolutely have to have a Chromecast with Google TV built in because this is the best way to watch YouTube TV. It shows you exactly what's playing, when it's playing, and the second you turn on your Chromecast, it's providing live television information and no other TV provider or app provider or hardware does that. And I think this is incredible. If you don't have a YouTube TV subscription, you can see right here on the left side, it has a free built-in channel. You can scroll down to Google TV and watch free television live right here using this remote. You just scroll down using the little component right here. You can see I'm pressing down, up, down, and I can see what's playing and it's really neat. So you've got to check out the Chromecast with the free built-in channels. You can see I've got over 116 free channels with Google TV and then I've got over uh, 120 channels with YouTube TV itself. So Google TV offers the free channels, YouTube TV offers the paid channels and I think it's really cool that uh, this is baked right into your Chromecast. Now you can also use the Google Assistant. The Google Assistant, remember, is in the top right right here. I can just press and say, play the Disney Channel. I'm gonna exit this quickly. All right, here's the Disney Channel on YouTube TV. So it opens up YouTube TV and knows what the Disney Channel is. It asks me to log in with my account. I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna exit immediately because I don't have permission to show you Disney Channel. Um, so it loads up YouTube TV, it finds the station, it loads up the beautiful sound there, and then it automatically starts playing the channel that I requested. And you can just say, play the Warriors game, or play, insert whatever you want, and then it- 13 year old who 
All right, so it's playing Disney Channel, and now I'm going to exit out of Disney Channel because we don't want to get a copyright strike. But it's really cool that you can just use the Google Assistant and give it any command regarding live television, and it will find the program that you're looking for. No more fumbling channel numbers. Remember when you had to change the channel to 72 or 43 or 50 to get access to anything? Gone is the days of channel numbers. All you have to do is just ask the Assistant, put on, insert the name of the show. So, you know, play Big Brother, play Disney channel play my game and it will just find it and it will load it up for you automatically and that is such an incredible way to use technology because you no longer need a channel number and then of course we can see here I don't even have to ask it to play a game. It's already recommended a game right here that's currently playing. So these recommendation algorithms are incredibly smart. And once you start using your TV, your Chromecast, your Google TV, it will know what you like to watch and it will just feed it to you every day. You turn on the device and you know exactly what you wanna watch based off the recommendation algorithm. So it's really incredible. So I wanna review the app section here. Of course, you can install um, various different apps on here and have other streaming services. So that's really handy. You can see some that are featured, some that are recommended. Um, you can stay mindful and fed. So many cool options right here on the Google TV. And then the last connection right here is from our DVR with YouTube TV, the library. Any movies that you purchase, any uh, shows that you record live on YouTube TV, they pop up right here. You can see that I've recorded a lot of sports games and I can instantly pull those up right here on my library. So those are the four options that you have right here on your Chromecast with Google TV. You've got the library to check out all your DVR recordings, your movies, anything that you recorded or purchased. You've got the apps to check out all the various different streaming services that are out there. To load up one, all you have to do is just click the center button and you can accept the terms of service. You can enter your username and password, hit the install button and process that request and then set it up successfully on your Chromecast. So you can see it's installing at 1%. I'm gonna go ahead and press the home button. It's already at 92% and instantly this is installing very fast, much faster than the security update that happened earlier and we are almost good to go. So it's installing, it's verified by Play Protect and super exciting to get us set up right here on our Chromecast, we can check out what it looks like to set up an application for the very, the very first time. We've got Pluto TV, watch TV and movies, and it is taking a bit to install here. So while that happens, I'm gonna review some other things. We're gonna go back to the home. We've got live where we reviewed over 800 free channels, and of course the YouTube TV channels. Um, that if you have that paid subscription and then the for you section where it recommends all of the great content that you can get started with right here and watch on your your TV so really cool options that we have if you are to play a video um, I will go over some video controls I'm gonna see if we can um, if we pause first, the video first so this is what it looks like for video controls I can use the left and right to skim alongside that video. And then- This is a problem. Uh, so they I sued Apple in- Press the center button to pause. We can see that there are other options. If we use the pad to move over to the up and right, we can see that we've got channel options. We've got captions, like, dislike, comments, save, and more with settings. So of course these settings are gonna be very, depending on which application you use. This is YouTube, this is what the settings look like for YouTube, but they're very similar whether you're using Disney Plus, Netflix, you just pause the video and you use the pad right here for the controls, you just go up and to the left and to the right when the video's paused and you're able to access all your various different settings. So I'm gonna hit the home button. Let's go over to that Pluto app and see if it installed successfully. We'll go back to apps, we've got Pluto TV. We press the center button one time and it loads it up for the very first time. We can drop in, it's free, really cool. I'm not gonna play this long because again, we don't have authorization to you know, publish a live television show, but it just loads up live TV just like this. I'm gonna press the home button. You get to see that for a really quick second. Really cool options. So that is the application section. We've reviewed the library section where you can review, you know, paid uh, shows that you've recorded. 
or things that you've purchased. You've got the live section for live television and the For You page. To see the best AI tools and apps, go to appfind.ai for a full list of hundreds of tools. Also, subscribe to our weekly newsletter using the link in the description at appfind.ai slash newsletter to get a weekly email update of the best AI tools in your inbox. And make sure to sign up for other recommended newsletters as well. That way, you can always stay up to date with the latest AI tools and tech. So this has been a complete beginner's guide of the Chromecast with Google TV. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Let us know what your favorite feature is in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to figure out when we release our next YouTube video. We love producing these for you and we can't wait to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.